through September, the Prostate Cancer Foundation's National Awareness Campaign. It kicks off today. Prostate cancer is taking a terrifying toll on our Kiwi blokes, with one man diagnosed every three hours and one or more dying each day. But is there something that we can do to turn the tide of these unnecessary deaths? What are the numbers? Terrible. Is it like, I think it's 600 New Zealand men die a year of prostate cancer, which is just ridiculous. Men, the men in our lives can be, they are very important ones, and every year around 600 men die in New Zealand of prostate cancer. That's more than 600 fathers, sons, brothers, grandfathers gone. So more men have been diagnosed with prostate cancer in the last 10 years than women have been diagnosed with breast cancer. Yeah, yeah, and despite those statistics, it's still quite a, quite a silent, silent killer. You know, it sort of sits in the background there and guys don't get checked and they turn up to see us and it's too late. You know, prostate cancer is something that happens from within the body and you don't see it, you don't feel it. And so if you don't get checked up regularly at the doctor, the chances are you're going to get prostate cancer you won't know about. It. Prostate cancer is something that we don't, we don't like to talk about. Unfortunately, you know, 3,000 guys get diagnosed every year, um, one, in, one in eight. So that's not good odds if you're a bookie or if you're like me, like the flutter on the horses. I, don't, I, don't, I like the odds a bit more than that. Māori men need to go to the doctor and get tested for their whānau's sake for their sake, for men's sake. I had a great uncle that passed away from prostate cancer and it's just something that I think men need to go out and get checked because it's such a simple test, that PSA one. The reality is is that it's a very simple test. Uh, we have non-invasive ways of investigating prostate cancer now and uh, there's a lot more that can be done. Get to the doctor and and have a checkup. It's not enjoyable. Well, maybe for some people it is. I, that's a bonus if it is, but get there for your sake, for your family's sake, have a checkup. Just do it. Whatever you need to do, whether there's a blood test or a finger, put it wherever you need to. If it's gonna if it's gonna keep me fit and healthy and save my life, then I'm all for it. Chuck it in, big boy. Hey guys, I'm Tony Marsh. I'm one of the Blue September ambassadors. Just want to say, if you haven't done it, go get your check now. You know, guys, you've got to get together, have a blue do, get all your friends and family together, and do something positive. It's a good idea, and hey, get blue. This morning, we're here for the uh, Bikers in Blue ride from Placemakers here in Pakaranga over the shore to uh, Placemakers in Silverdale. This is a message to all you blokes out there on bikes and especially mammals, that's guys like me, middle-aged men in Lycra. Get on your bike and pedal for prostate. And we are not too far away from the pedal for prostate October the 8th at Hampton Downs. Well, Jim, that was a hell of a lot of fun, but I'm sure having prostate cancer isn't. For sure. Join us here, 8th of October, pedal for prostate. Four hour race, four man teams, get them together, we'll see you out here. Peace. JJ Harvey from The Edge. And I'm Dom Harvey from The Edge, coincidentally. And this is Kanye Harvey. He's from a, a breeder. <laughs> We're encouraging you to support the fight against prostate cancer by having a blue do. Yeah, it's really easy. Get online, blueseptember.org.nz. You'll find all the info there. Get your blue on!
All right, lads, let's join the fight against prostate cancer and let's get ourselves a blue do. Have a get together for Blue September. Have a blue do. Bah. <laughs>